<laughs> is it's old news. The Jan 6 deal has been in the market forever. This rhetoric from people saying Trump is a Nazi and a fascist in the market forever. Do you really want to spend your closing statements on old stuff that's already needled into 45% of the country that hates them? The coping and mental gymnastics you are about to see from CNN's Abby Phillips are just pathetic. There is no other way to put it because recently Kevin O'Leary went on the network to make the bold, crazy claim. I know that Kamala Harris was not democratically elected as the Democrat nominee, which is kind of ironic considering they were always talking about democracy and preserving our democratic norms. Meanwhile, they literally circumvent the entire primary process. And CNN tries to make some of the most ridiculous and hypocritical excuses for that you will ever hear. So folks, do us a big favor. Before we get into reacting to today's video, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you are new. And why should you subscribe? Because doing so goes a long way in ensuring we can keep bringing you these videos it is also totally free and this close to election day the best way to support the content and with that said take a listen as i i would call it kevin o'leary embarrasses cnn but it's more like cnn embarrasses themselves check it out i would like to introduce the concept of the panel tonight it's going to be short dissertation but i want you to think about this because i watched like you did yesterday and something hit me pretty hard only 90 days ago, uh, Pelosi went to Biden and said, you need to step aside and convince him to do so. He made the decision and he did actually ask her, and we've now learned this, is she the right person to drive this home? He questioned that. He could have said, we need to run a process in order for me to make this move, but they decided not to. I don't know who they is. Was it Obama? Was it Pelosi? I don't care who it was. In stock picking, just listen to this analogy, and you may agree, you may not, 88% of managers, because of the world I live in, cannot beat the S&P year in, year out. So you give them $1,000, the S&P beats them. They can't pick stocks. This is the second time the Democratic Party has circumvented democracy and chose. That's not true. That's yes, not it is. True. Hillary Clinton, I mean, this Hillary yeah. Clinton no. was there, chosen, and she had Bruce Springsteen too. Hold on, hold on. And this is literally all true, by the way. Okay, so I, I don't know what they're so pissed off about. All right, first of all, yes. Did you coo out your sitting incumbent who won the Democrat primary from the actual voters overwhelmingly? Yes, you did. Secondly, okay, and by the way, to correct Kevin O'Leary slightly, Obama and that side of the party did actually want an open convention, like a brokered convention where someone has to go in in front of all the delegates and earn it. But, um, you know, it's actually Joe Biden endorsing Kamala that sabotaged all of that. But the overall point is still true. OK, even in that situation, usually what you would think to do is at least go to a brokered convention and kind of play that out. But because they wanted to avoid the optics of, you know, not being able to introduce the American public to Kamala Harris at the DNC and make it all about her, they decided not to do that. So, yes, it is a simple fact that the entire process was anti-democratic. Now, what was Kevin O'Leary getting at? He's not even necessarily super mad about it. What he is pointing out is that when you wonder why Kamala is currently struggling, and it sounds like a lot of the party is having a little bit of buyer's remorse. I mean, even The Hill, I believe, recently published an op-ed saying maybe Joe Biden was the better candidate all along, right? Well, again, when you circumvent that democratic process and you just anoint a candidate and then they have to have to actually go and face democracy and the election itself this is what happens but with that said take a listen to the cope you are about to hear from abby phillips it is out of control what okay. happened to her Hil Hil and now we've chosen <laughs> kevin hillary clinton won a primary yeah. OK, mm -hmm. she won a primary. You may not. Nobody like could that compete with her, primary. even Bernie Sanders. She, she won a primary. OK, first of all, that's the first. So thing. did Kamala Harris win talked, a primary? Listen, we have talked about this before. What's wrong about talking about it tonight after what you just saw? Do you talking, think that's really I'm what matters to, you to voters? Right now. You're, you're How many Democrats you're wish? Hold on. Okay. Okay. Hang on a second. Let's talk about what matters to voters. Do you really think voters care about the intranecine primary? Yes. Process if you're a Democrat, you sure as hell care today. I know that you are from Canada. But the primary process. <laughs> That's why it's, I'm the perfect for this. In this I have no skin in the game other than to get a great president. It's no. not in the Constitution. The, the political parties can choose however 
they want to choose their nominee. Right. And as long as they meet the legal deadlines in the states where they are on the ballot, they can do it however they yeah, want. I, I just, they can decide. I just want to be yeah, transparent. Yes, 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 I was, I was born in Canada. They can December 2023 just, to just handpick yeah, somebody. Just to be transparent. To primary. Right. I was it's born in Canada. Not a it's thing. a Democratic Party it's process, not a, thing. not a Democratic No, no, but my kids were born and raised in Boston. All my investments in the United States. I want the president, whoever it is, to be a winner. Describing something as undemocratic that has absolutely nothing right. to do with the democratic right. process. And this process. is why I'm going to be a candidate. Anyway. What absolutely ridiculous and unbelievable cope from Abby Phillips. Really? The primary process has nothing to do with the democratic process itself simply because. Uh, it's not in the Constitution. Yeah, newsflash, Abby. The argument being made is not that it's illegal or unconstitutional what the Democrats did with Kamala Harris. Obviously, they technically can do it. The reason it's being criticized is because it's kind of a dirty circumvention, a violation of the Democratic norms. And I'm going to use that term very specifically because if you listen to a lot of the coverage of Donald Trump during his presidency, they use this term all the time. Oh, not that Trump doing anything illegal or unconstitutional but orange man is bad because he's violating norms right he's a bucking of the status quo and yet suddenly now they're just using this unbelievably ridiculous cope that uh well you know technically they don't have to nominate the candidate democratically right okay and again that's literally not the point point. and yes abby while you are right that the party technically can nominate the candidate however they want. The fact of the matter is, the way they chose their candidate was not democratic, right? Objectively, it was not democratic because they, you know, instead of allowing the people to actually vote for it, they just kind of got together. The party elites essentially anointed the person they decided they were going to run. So what is wrong about what Kevin O'Leary is saying? Last thing I will point out here. Okay, it's not in the Constitution that the parties have to have an actually democratic primary process. Well, yes, but you guys care, claim to care so much about democracy. And yet, you know, how's that democracy going? But here is perhaps a more important point I will make. You know what else is not in the Constitution? Uh, the fact that a candidate has to concede an election or cannot challenge the results of an election, okay? I I'm, I'm using that from now on when they talk about, oh, Trump denies the 2020 election, you know, this is such a threat to our democracy, January 6th, all this stuff. Okay, I mean, then my question is, um, where in the Constitution does it say he can't do that? Where in the Constitution does it say he has to accept the results of an election, he has to concede, he uh, cannot file lawsuits challenging the results or all this stuff? Nowhere, right? It, he's totally allowed to do that. The whole argument is it's not good for the health of our democracy. Yeah, well, neither is circumventing the primary process. But I guess when it's a Democrat, you guys just don't care about that. Anyways, after this pathetic performance where they admit that they do not actually care much for democracy, you see in this segment, CNN once again just get back to the old talking points of uh trump is hitler yes threat to democracy even though kamala harris is not democratically nominated okay here you go right. enough for people like larry yeah. uh, i mean we have one of his generals coming out saying that he talked about hitler admiringly all of these things kamala harris last night on cnn said donald trump is a fascist yes and there is a reason for that and there actually is science around this closing because data shows the campaign's data data that all of the democratic groups are focusing on focus groups um all of the things that they're hearing at the doors i have heard this as well the january 6th issue is absolutely incredibly compelling mm -hmm. and it moves voters is it <laughs> old news the jan 6 deal has been in the market forever this rhetoric from people saying trump is a nazi and a fascist in the market forever do you really want to spend your closing statements on old stuff that's already needled into 45 percent of the country that hates him? Is it old news or, not, is, or right. is he also now running to I mean, the, the problem, it would be old news if he was not running to be president. Except think about what you're say, trying to right. think, think what you're trying place. Yeah. You're trying to tell always somebody. Always relevant. You don't always relevant. You care always more about yeah. Nazi Trump than the cost of gasoline, your rent, and the protein you buy for that the family. That is literally the argument. Okay, and I yes. think that's a losing Kevin, argument. The argument is you should care more about whether the president of the United States is a fascist and admires...
Nazis than you should about the cost really of gasoline today. Who really believes that? You don't think that's that's no, 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 uh, you know, this woman right here on the right to Kevin O'Leary was literally just saying, do you really believe Americans care about the fact that Kamala Harris was not a democratically selected candidate? And then turns around and said, you know, this January 6th and Trump is Hitler. That's really what's going to compel the American voters who may have been undecided up until this point. Right? They want this entire, you know, it's one thing people who are already voting for the Democrats. That is true. Okay. This whole issue is kind of rage bait for them. I definitely don't deny that. But for the undecided voter who now in the last week of election is like razor thin, who am I going to vote for? What choice am I going to make? Or the person already voting for Donald Trump. Do you seriously believe that in those final stages of this election, suddenly that's going to flip the script? Remember guys? Trump is a fascist. Trump likes Hitler. We've been saying that for nine years. This is really what's going to change the election. No, Kevin O'Leary is absolutely right, okay? It is not a strong closing argument. It is old news. It is like a cheap Hollywood remake of something they've ran a million times before, and uh, it's out of touch. It's completely out of touch, and you can see the echo chamber that these people live in with just their expression, right? The way they react to Kevin O'Leary saying, yeah, I don't think the American people care. Yeah, I, I think they're... Uh, you know, especially for independent voters, especially for the undecided voters, these are people who generally tend to vote on more breadbasket issues. You know, their ability to feed their children, stuff like that. Okay, um, but I don't know. Just let these people keep living in their echo chamber, I suppose. But yeah, what a just overall completely pathetic segment from CNN. Uh, can't believe we just listened to that. It was complete nonsense. Trump is a threat to democracy, but it's okay that Kamala Harris subverted democracy. Uh, okay. Be sure to leave a like on this video. Subscribe if you are new. And until next time, God bless and peace.